Hello and welcome to another Vector Toots Quick Tip screencast. I'm Cheryl Graham and today we're going to talk about graphic styles and particularly the graphic styles panel in Illustrator CS4 which has had a lot of improvements since previous versions. Graphic styles are essentially preset appearance attributes that you can apply to any object. Illustrator comes with tons of them and you can load even more from the menu at the bottom of the panel. This fleur-de-lis has a basic appearance, white fill, black stroke. I'm going to change the fill to gold and then switch to the stroke by pressing the X key and getting rid of the stroke by pressing the slash key. Now I'm going to add a simple drop shadow to my shape. If you go to the appearance panel now, all of those attributes are there. The fill of gold, the stroke of none, and the drop shadow. And you can see on the tiny little thumbnail at the top of the panel, a representation of this object's appearance. So to make my own graphic style out of this appearance, I'm just going to drag this thumbnail onto the graphic styles panel. And you'll notice that I don't have to have that panel open and separate from the appearance panel. Illustrator CS4 has spring-loaded panels, which means that if I just drag on top of the tab, it becomes active, and I can put that graphic style anywhere I want to in the panel. I can then double-click on my new style to give it a name. And now that name is reflected in the appearance panel. Now to apply this style to any other object, I just select it and click its style in the graphic styles panel. Alternately, I can drag this thumbnail onto an object and that will apply the style as well. So what happens if I want to have two graphic styles on one object? I have this tool icon and I've got a gold beveled style on it and I want to add a drop shadow. So if I click the drop shadow style, I just get the drop shadow and not the gold. But with CS4, what you can do is hold down the Option key or the Alt key on Windows, and that lets you apply a second style to a style that already exists. There are some other cool things that you can do with a graphic styles panel in CS4. If you hold down the Control key on a Mac or just right click on Windows, you can preview your object in a small thumbnail right on the graphic styles panel. Graphic styles also work on live editable type and you can preview that as well on the panel. If you work with type a lot, you might want to change the thumbnails in the panel to type instead of squares, and you can do that with the flyout menu on the panel itself. If you have a lot of styles that you've created or ones that you use often, you can save those into its own library from the flyout menu. Just give it a name and it'll be saved, and then you can load it just like any other library.